Hey what's up, I'm Jeremy and on this tutorial for Adobe Photoshop we are going to look at how to create this nice little reflection for text or any other thing. First off, we need to create a new image. So go to File, New, and name your image probably Reflection Text. I chose the width to be 700 pixel and the height to be 300. I kept the resolution to 72 pixel per inch and the color mode that just kept it as default, so RGB color and 8 bit. And the background contents, technically it's supposed to be white by the default, but change it to transparent. And the advanced, uh, technically no change to do here, so it's a bunch of stuff. I need to change is sRGB and square pixels. Now I just click, oops, correctly. Run OK. Now we need to create our little background. So go to this uh, layer palette, double click on the text, and just name, rename this layer BG for background. And then uh, take your, uh, choose the color you want. So here I have this nice little dark red. So the hexadecimal code is 8F0000. Or you can choose any color you want, except black. Then click on OK, and then thank you Paint Bucket Tool. So it may be hidden under the Gradient Tool, so just click and hold and select the Paint Bucket Tool. Now just click anywhere, and here you have your solid background. Now we need to add some kind of texture to it. So for this, we go to Layer, Layer Style, and then Pattern Overlay. I'm going to change the pattern to be this the third one here. It's already uh, defined, so it's already inside Photoshop. No need to um, download an image or anything, it's already there. And I change the paint mode to overlay. Now it's a bit too bright for me, and so I change the opacity down to 40%. So now we see the kind of texture and we have still the dark red we wanted. And so you can scale this up or down, but I just keep it at 100%. And click on OK. Now that we have our background, we need to add our text. So go to your T tool here, the text one and select uh, whatever font you want. So here I chose Cobra Plate Gothic Bold. Uh, so regular, you can change it. I put my uh, size to be 100 point and you know, sharp or strong, smooth, whatever. Whatever works for you. And I'm gonna change my color here to be black. So click on OK. Now if I click here, I can type my text, so it's going to be Photoshop, and I'm going to accept here. Go to my move tool and come some kind of center it visually here. So it's centered but horizontally, not vertical. Okay, so with my layer selected here, I'm going to go to layer, duplicate layer and change this to reflection and click on OK. Now we're going to go back to the layer menu, going to go to rasterize and type because then now it's just a vector and if you rasterize it's going to make it pixels. OK so with our reflection selected I'm going to go to edit transform flip vertical now it doesn't look good I know take your move tool or press V to select it press shift and then the, the down arrow key on the keyboard and just place it down now we need to make it exactly right under the text so that looks good it's not over yet, we need to add some kind of a blurriness effect, some kind of transparency to it. 
So for this, we need to go and create a mask. So here, on the layer panels, we have a chain, we have effects, and then we have this uh, add layer mask. So select our reflection, click on this little icon. Now, go and take your gradient tool. So we had our paint bucket, just click and hold and say gradient one. Now the gradient, keep it as the default. So from white to black, linear, more normal, opacity 100, no reverse, this range transparency are checked. Then click right there, press shift to have a straight line and go about here, halfway. And go Okay, that looks good. And so we have our nice little reflection right here. And we can add some effects to it. So I know in the previews there is no effect. Now we can add some kind of a ripple effect. So with your so layer selected, not the mask. You see the mask selected, so it's kind of a border around it. Select the layer itself. Then go to filter, distort and then ripple and so you can change whatever you want I just change it to 200% and make it small ok now there's some uh, kind of uh, thing um, it's not perfect so take your move tool and go up one or two pixels and we have our nice little reflection with a kind of a distorted uh, reflection actually and so that's about how you create a reflection now you can add this to any image uh, anything else you can uh, you can do everything you want you can make a text to reflect it on the water whatever you want anyways I'm Jeremy and this is the end of this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it and I see you next time